Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna look at what's going on for you in love, what has been going on in the recent past, what are the challenges for you, who you might be dealing with, and what, what well, if I could finish the sentence, what can you expect next? So let's jump in for Capricorn, Spirit Angels, guys. What does Capricorn need to know regarding love? What does Capricorn need to know regarding love? What can Capricorn expect regarding love? Start with what is going on for you in love. What's going on, Spirit, for Capricorn? What's going on for them in love? What's going on for them? Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like I'm speaking to a single Capricorn. Maybe you are looking great, doing great in like work or school or projects or business, but you are missing that partnership aspect. I feel like you're unattached. Some of you have caught someone's eye and I keep getting this message for Capricorns. I swear it comes up in every reading that someone has their mind. Like it's like someone's energy is very strong and I instantly can't like I have to pick up on it. Um, because I'm looking at this woman here and I'm like, wow, I have such an attraction. I, I feel like I know her, you know, that's the energy that I get. That's why I, I think this is someone that already knows you and thinks of you in this way. And when they see you, this is what they think. Okay. What's going on for Capricorn in love? What else do we need to know spirit? What's going on for Capricorn in love? The Knight of Wands, exactly. It's like someone has the hots for you here. They see you and it's like, I want to make a move. This could also be you, Capricorn. You might meet someone or see someone and it's like instant connection, instant attraction. The chemistry is there, hot and heavy. The Knight of Wands is very charming. Um, they're very like well-spoken. Um, they tend to be very attractive. And so I feel like, you know, that's, I feel like it, if you're meeting someone, that's kind of the energy between you. But this could also be that someone already knows you and has this these these urges towards you, this attraction that already exists. There's the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, they could be wanting to talk to you, communicate with you. What's the overall energy for Capricorn in love? What's the overall energy for Capricorn and love spirit? What's the overall energy for Capricorn in love? What's the overall energy? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Okay, so there's been a separation that's relevant here. Yeah, because you're single, okay. This could have been something that happened in the past. We'll look at the recent past in a second. It's the energy for Capricorn. Patiently waiting. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Maybe you're waiting for something to happen in love or someone's waiting for you. Divine timing. Interesting. Patiently waiting with divine timing at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so... Timing is very important here. Maybe you've been waiting for the right time. Maybe you've been waiting for divine intervention or someone else has. Let's get an ever after oracle. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Pot of gold, abundance, stability, treasure. This is kind of like getting like everything you want, wishes granted, stable, solid connection, abundance, and crown, authority, recognition, achievement. This reminds me of the nine of pentacles. Someone has the hots for you. They find you very attractive. And I'm getting also this, when I said that, someone has the hots for you, I picked up like, you don't understand why they would or that's not important to you. It's like, I don't care. Okay, fine. I'm hot, but that's not important to me. That's kind of like the response I got. That's so funny. Um, 
there's something here with money for some of you i see all this green there's obviously a pot of gold here maybe you're doing very well financially speaking someone's really into you but i'm trying to figure out if this is someone new or someone that you separated from because this it would not be a capricorn reading if someone from the past wasn't trying to knock down your door but we'll see i'm not going to jump to conclusions if i could speak today that would be great um, let's look at the recent past and what the challenge is so that we can get a little bit more insight into what's going on here. What's been going on in the recent past for Capricorn spirit? What's been going on? I cannot speak. What's been going on in the recent past? The Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so you could have um, started talking to someone, Capricorn. Someone maybe has been trying to communicate with you. This could be someone from the past, someone new. I don't think it really matters. But the Empress is at the bottom of the deck. So again, I'm getting someone that's really like finding you attractive, um, seeing abundance with you, seeing, seeing potential with you. So what's the challenge? What's the challenge here? What's the challenge here for Capricorn? Ace of Swords, something with communication. So maybe someone is not really communicating or maybe you're getting the wrong person talking to you, right? It's like someone wants to talk to you, but that's not who you want to talk to. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge here? I don't want to take a card yet. What's the challenge here? For Capricorn, wants to challenge this one. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, few ways to interpret this. This could be somebody that wants to talk to you that's like out in the cold and they're trying to get back in. Um, I feel this is new energy. I think I'm speaking to a Capricorn where you've recently or in the recent past have separated from someone been single have been focusing on yourself doing your own thing you've been patiently waiting for your divine partner to come along um and i think they're around the corner here if you haven't met them already and i think as this is happening this new energy i think the past is resurfacing the past is resurfacing. It's very interesting. Knight of Cups is here. Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. This Knight of Cups. This Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. I don't know. I, I get the feeling that... Who you want... It's almost like you're going to meet someone new... And for some reason, the past has to come back. And it's, I think it's meant to be a lesson for you, honestly. I can see the eye rolls now, but hey, this is the message that I'm getting. So let's look at this person. What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? The Wheel of Fortune. See, I feel like divine timing is very important. The timing here is very important. What do we need to know about this? Nine of Wands. Okay, what else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, Capricorn, I feel like I'm seeing two different people here. It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune is the opportunity that's headed towards you. And it's in the form of two very different people. What's behind this? Yeah, the Two of Wands. I mean, I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is the energy. What's behind the Two of Wands? Strength. Yeah, it's almost like you need to choose. You'll have to choose. And one of these people is your, like, happy ending. I don't know why I keep any of these messages for Capricorn. Like, I'm waiting for, like, the tide to turn. Another way to interpret this is that the past is returning. 
you know? Or a new person is coming towards you, but you're just not sure. Because the Knight of Wands is very guarded, resistant. The Knight of Wands is has issues trusting others. So it could be that you don't trust someone that's coming towards you. Or if someone's like, maybe it's too good to be true. And so in your mind, you're like, I have to be careful. Because this sounds too good to be true. That's another way to interpret this. Let's get um, a PS I love you for this person. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Capricorn? What do we need to know? Whatever's happening in the near future, I feel it's divinely guided. What do we need to know about this person and how they're thinking, feeling, what's in their heart space about Capricorn? I pretend that I am okay, but inside I am hurting. Someone's wearing a mask here. What else do we need to know? Someone's pretending they're okay, but they're really heartbroken inside. What else do we need to know about the person that Cap person or persons that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with in the near future spirit? What do we need to know? You reunited at last. And bottom of the deck, there's so much I have to tell you. <sighs> well, this looks like an ex Capricorn. I know, I know. I am hearing the groans. I'm so sorry. I cannot control the cards that come out. I could just ask all kinds of questions and see what happens. I feel like this, again, this is going to be a choice for you. And I feel that choice or this choice is going to determine your future, which again is, is a, a common theme for Capricorns, common theme on my channel. This is someone that's pretended that they've been fine and is hoping to reunite. They have so much to tell you. This Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So let's look at what you can expect next. Spirit, what can Capricorn expect next in love? What can Capricorn expect next? in love what can capricorn expect next the eight of swords okay what can capricorn expect next in love what can capricorn expect next eight of pentacles what does eight mean i want to... growth creativity okay groups as well I'm looking at my cheat sheet seven of swords <sighs> with the five of wands at the bottom of the deck why why i feel like you're doing so well what is happening here and see i feel like you're conflicted eight of swords don't know what to do I feel like you're probably going to meet someone in the recent past or you're meeting them now, or you're meeting them in the near future. You click with them. This person's very interested in you or you're very interested in them. Um, you're living the single life, right? And then the past comes back. And I feel when the past comes back, it's gonna confuse you or force you to choose. And for some reason, I think it's gonna like rattle you a little bit. But the Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, I feel like this person might ruin it for you. Like, I don't think it's a good thing. If the past comes back, maybe they have the, the best kind of intentions that they might have, but they might inadvertently ruin the new beginning that you're starting or the new cycle that you're starting. And so this might be a lesson or special opportunity for you, Capricorn, where Spirit is presenting you with a choice to, con to cut something off completely or continue and it's for good right you it's 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 like you can't go back from either of those choices but I feel like this is all happening in divine timing yes look at this coming together right after with wishing well I feel like spirit has a soulmate for you and it's coming in divine they're coming in divine timing Maybe you need to get over this hurdle first. Maybe you need to deal with this first so that you can move forward. Because there's a reason the past is re resurfacing here. There's a reason this person is resurfacing. Maybe you are meant to reunite with this person. Some of you are. 
and this is your soulmate, the one you're meant to be with. But others of you, I feel like you're not. I feel like you are meant to let this person go and you have to cut them off completely. Otherwise, you can't move on with your real soulmate. So I feel like that's you're at a threshold, a very important threshold here. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the reading. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.